What's up, world? It's Mr. Makassier, Makassier Clothing. www.mokacia.com. <sighs> Out here getting a little bit on this beautiful Monday. As you know, it is Makassier Motivation Monday, the Marine Mamba Monday, the Mayfield Monday, the Motivation Monday. Make sure y'all go and subscribe to that Makassier 504 and be so you get these daily motivation, weekly motivations, monthly motivation. Just get all this positivity I'm trying to give out to you. So as I'm out here today, getting my blood flowing, cause you know, it's a little cold out here. I was thinking there's important things in life that start with the letter D that I want to share with you. And they are determination, <sighs> That's, that's one of them. Another one is discernment. Another one is one of the most crucial ones is the person that decides that they want to have the wherewithal to put doubt in your head. And sometimes that person is you. So just those things I want to talk about, you know. Um, a lot of times the doubtfulness and the uh, life's journeys causes discouragement. And when you're discouraged, sometimes the discouragement you may think comes from you. Whether it's okay, I didn't accomplish a goal that I thought I was going to accomplish, whether it was going to be uh, uh, something I thought I was going to win, you know, something that I thought was going to be the best for me, and it didn't happen. So the doubt starts to set in, and the discouragement starts to surround you. I will challenge you with this. Most of your discouragement comes from outside sources that eventually invade the internal source, your spiritual, your mental. So you want to be careful of that and you want to think along the lines of, you know, what am I allowing in my space? What is making me feel discouraged? Is it because of the world's expectations of me? Is it because of the expectations that I put on myself that was motivated by the outside world? You get what I'm saying? Most of the times you have these discouraging moments because it's based on somebody else's achievements. You are uniquely made. Your genetic code, God put a stamp on you. Nobody can do it like you, right? Nobody can live a life like you. So what is yours is yours. You're uniquely made. So whatever your path is that God has set out for you, seek that. And don't let discouragement come in. You have to have discernment to decipher what it is. You gotta decipher, hey, is this just me in my feelings? Is this outside sources? Or is this an opportunity for me to learn a lesson? and appreciate the moment that I'm in. Because even though sometimes we may feel or appear that we have failed at something or we didn't get where we were supposed to be, all that is is just a chapter and a journey and the testimony that we're going to give to somebody else. Because in somebody else's life, your story may get them where they need to be in their journey. We all have our journeys. We always have our starting points. We all have our ending points. But a lot of times what we don't realize is we have to have discernment to realize that the discouragement is just an opportunity for us to elevate ourselves to the next level. So you become determined to be great. You're determined to defy the odds. You're determined to not let the outside sources dictate your elevation. So just let that sink in your head. That's the motivation for the week. 
Don't let your discouragement and doubts dictate your destination. Have the determination to elevate and be great. So be great this week. Be determined. Don't sink in your, your doubts. Have the discernment to understand and decipher the code and understand that you're uniquely made and you're well on your journey if you put one foot in front of the other. Peace and blessings. Makasia.com. Subscribe to that Makasia 504. And understand, hey, be above average. Got to get out this cold. I'm starting to call a cool off. Got to get back to this run. Peace.